guys! So this, in my opinion, is the best Basher Spec X Max. But M2C Racing think they can make it better. So in this video, we're going to chuck on the upgrades and see if it does actually make it better or not. Do so we have a giant electric motor, giant TSC, M2C motor mounts, chassis stiffener, wheel extenders, and a perfect pass servo. Look at that, 56 kilos of torque. Here you got some techno babble. So in my opinion, for x Maxes to be the most reliable, I have found that it's best to leave them almost stock. So stock arms, stock suspension, stock chassis, stock gearing. We have modified the spur gear and pinion with steel spur gear and pinion. I'm running a 6S motor on 8S. It gives it a bit more power. Max 6 speed controller, also a little bit more power. I've got these little rings around the diff output cups. It just stops them breaking apart. Send hinge pins to pin the arms together. RPM rear hub carriers on the back. And I've also put a 55 kilo AGF servo in there. And with those few upgrades, I've found the Traxxas X Max to be the strongest RC car. That's what I have. And I've tried almost every Basher RC car that there is out there. And in my opinion, nothing can compare to a stockish X Max. But M2C, with these upgrades, think they can make it better. So we're going to leave this one the way it is, and we're going to put all these upgrades onto this X Max. <laughs> oh, check out the size of that motor. Max 5 ESC 8S. Perfect pass servo, all metal cased, all metal gears, 56 kilos of torque. So to fit a bigger motor, you need some sort of a motor mount, and M2C has the solution. Right, let's get that onto there so that we don't open everything up at the same time, and then we'll show you these bits in a minute. And also, if you want to know where you can get the car from, the M2C stuff, the motor, ESC, the servo, the servo mount so you can mount it, and everything else that you see in this video, link to all of that down below. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You got A.S. Steve in the house. So here's A.S. Steve's X Max. Let's have a look in here. Oh, it is uh, M2C motor mount, the same as the one I've got over there. So he's already got that part fitted. Stephen has also got a set of these extended hexes. So how are you going to do it? You're going to drill out your wheels, or are you going to? Oh, I'm going to drill the wheels, I think. Yeah, because then you can run these big hexes. But maybe yeah. open it first and see if they fit inside the wheels first. Oh hello. Oh, oh look at that, perfect fit. Beautiful. Yes. So AS Steve's gonna sort of carry on with that, and while he's doing that, we have to start tearing this one apart and get the big motor in. So old system out, new system in. All right, so next I've got to take all these gubbins out and then that gubbin's in. So I've been chatting with Avery Looper from M2C and Rich Duper Bash apparently recommends that gearing. And that is a spur gear that Stevens has taken out of his one, so we're gonna put that into that one. And Stevens gonna go smaller than a motor, actually. Yeah. So you're taking out this behemoth. Yep. And what are you putting in? It's a baby one. <laughs> Why? Faster. Yeah, all right, okay. That's a 1650, and that's an 890. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna run it a bit later and see how it goes. Get off, get off. Come on, come to papa. Off. Out with you. Out. Got to do some magic here. Ready, ready, ready. Boom. Everything gone. So next, we've got to take the wheels off to make it a bit easier to work on. Then we can take the chassis apart, get to the servo, and fit the special perfect pass servo. I'm also going to fit a heavy-duty servo saver, and you need one of these to fit a standard size servo. Doesn't quite fit. I think we've got to cut a little bit out of the chassis. Boom! Next, it says in the instructions we have to cut this piece of the servo off. Because otherwise, you put the chassis back on, it's gonna hit. Oh, it's painful. Can you do it? Mm. Boom! Sorry, Raz. <laughs> this is Raz Schifrin's company that makes these. He's probably gonna cry now. So next, we've got to centre off the servo to get the trim in the right place. I want to upgrade this to a Dumbo radio just because they've got such a massive range. We've got trim on zero, we've got this arm, and with that in zero position, we can mount that on there nice and squarely. See if you can stop it. I'm going to try. Ready? Yeah. No, it's just... You can't stop it. You can't. <laughs> oh. 
Let's have a look at Stevens' motor. Oh, Stevens doesn't look small. Oh, really look cute. Really <laughs> but it should be faster than the daddy one. But in theory, you should be able to gear him up more and make him faster than that. Yeah, it'll just get really hot. Oh, I've got a heavy duty servo saver here and I forgot to put it on, but we can do magic. Boom! All right, so over here, we have a buggy for Stempy. What does Stephen think to the soldering? It's on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is like one and a half mil off the fire. I think we might have to fix that for him. Uh, That's been well and truly stamped. Oh, yeah, he definitely stamped on it. <laughs> so next, we can try and fit the motor. So that goes in there like, but we have to remove this piece. Can you always tell when something's good metal because it keeps ringing? So next, what's next, Steve? That on? It is indeed. Oh, you to get to it. And all my electrics in there again first. Uh, we're gonna do some magic. Servos in it. Right, ready, 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 ready. Boom! There we go, got it all in there. Also, I've got this motor support on the back that screws onto the stock ESC mount. And basically, we've got this piece here that bolts onto the chassis, and this piece here that bolts onto the back that goes onto the motor, so the motor's got something to sit on. So heavy landings is gonna support the back of the motor, not try and rip it off the mount. So Stephen is just installing these extended hexes, and we've opted to go with the big nut and drilled out the wheels. Yes, yeah, so a bigger hole in the middle and big nut goes on. I've got the same ones, so I'm gonna chuck them on mine now. So while we've got all this stuff in pieces, I might as well go ahead and fit some RPM rear hubs. So I've had the same set of these on that X-Max, well, at first on that X-Max, and then from that X-Max, they went onto that one. They're probably five or six years old and they're still perfect. So let's get these on there. So here we have the stock bearing. Here, we have the heavy duty bearing. These stock ones break quite easily. These ones are never. I don't know anyone who's ever broken one of these RPM ones. So now we got to get the rest of all this stuff on there. Boom! All four extended wheel hexes on. Mm. Next, we got to put on this piece here. And I've forgotten how you do it. So let's have a quick look on the internet. There we go, M2C YouTube channel. Gonna show us how to do it. Boom! All right, our turn, you ready? I think so. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Boom! So the idea of this is, apparently, to still have some flex in there, but to stiffen it up a little bit, to tie all the bulkheads together and the chassis. So apparently, it's going to save bulkheads and chassis. Now, I've only ever broken two chassis on all of my X Maxes throughout their whole lives, but I have broken quite a few bulkheads. So if it saves them, good. So Stephen over here is doing the same conversion. I am indeed. So that's got to go on it. Boom! Stephen's got his one all fitted on there. Check it out. So next, I've got these backflip tyres here that are really supposed to be for an Outcast 8S, but I think they're less likely to blow out and they're also going to fit these hexes perfectly. Boom. There we go, all ready for action. Now I still want to do the send hinge pins. It basically pins two arms together and it makes it double as strong. Also, I want to get some little cup covers that go over these out drives because they can snap. And now with the more power, maybe it's going to snap. Well, check it out. That all fits in there, lovely. Max 5 fits on there, perfect. Chassis brace on there, perfect. So this is my almost stock hex max. That's the modified one. With extended hexes, it's actually the same width with those armour wheels on there. But the armour wheels are less likely to blow out. So weight-wise, it is a bit heavier, but not as heavy as I expected. First little go. Radio on. Oh, check out that Raz steering servo. Yeah, that works. You know when that steers that easy on carpet, it's going to be yeah. a power test. Oh, ho, ho, 
Just get it out in the car park. <laughs> Stevens is actually even wider than mine. Yep, your one's definitely a little bit wider. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's lively. Oh, 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 uh oh. Where has his X Max gone? Hey, there it is. Oh, I'm trying to stand in back with him. Oh, not quite. Oh, oh no. That's nearly <laughs> easy. Did you get him a Guys, I'm really happy with that. It seems really nimble. It doesn't really feel any heavier. And we've just been bashing it loads off camera and I'm guessing it's not gonna to be too hot. I mean, it is hot, but considering the amount of abuse we've been giving it, so how's your smaller motor? It looks more, more faster, doesn't it? It's definitely faster, yeah. There's the one I can hold ah. finger on there. Cool, so next location, to the moon somewhere. I have a challenge. Oh, yes! <laughs> I thought that was going through the window. By the way, I forgot to mention, I've got these M2C special shock pistons. They've got a nice o ring that goes round there. So we're going to chuck them in there at some point, not today. Here we are, skate park location over there. Actually, in Tony's area yeah. from Swamp Thing. I've been here before, yeah. <laughs> he drives a real monster truck. Can he drive an RC? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a go anyway and see what happens. Perfect. Yeah. Got Ian and Claire in the house with their Minimax. Oh, look at this place. Oh. Oh, broken it already. Well, how can you broke already? Yeah, you've broken that bit here. Survey safety. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Game over! <laughs> what happened? Guys, we've never broken that part ever on an X Men. Tony, you'll go. <laughs> what are you broken? <laughs> you, you, can drive, you can drive something broken, can't you? <laughs> so, which is forwards, that one? You just uh, pull it like that. All right. Oh! <laughs> I reckon you backflip off of that. Alright, so that could be a backflip ball. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> ah, there you go. Hey! Oh. oh man, I can't believe it's broken. I want to play with it. Alright, so this is the part that we broke. So let's chuck it in there and carry on bashing. Boom! Boom! There we go, all fitted. That is actually the first time that I've ever broken this. All right, next location. Here we are, next location. <laughs> AS back in the house, skate park over there. <laughs> it's ready to get out. Uh, what's it doing? It's itching to get out already. Oh, oh you see a door move. All right, here we go, get it out. Oh. <laughs> Stephen, at what age do you reckon we're not going to play with our seas anymore? Do you reckon we're going to be like grandpas and still playing over there? I am a granddad. <laughs> you are a granddad. I am a granddad. <laughs> he actually is a granddad. So yes, yeah, granddad. Give <laughs> <laughs> a quick race. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready, Teddy, go. Pass that out for me. The trick is to crawl really slow first, isn't it? Yeah. To overround the, to override the punch thing. Oh yes! I have a challenge. <laughs> so, challenge is you have to start here, uh, standing backflip and land on the downslope of that. Oh, kind of. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Having went in my ear hole. Why are X Max is so much fun? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh boy. I have another challenge. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You've got to take off from there and land on that. Oh, 
<laughs> it's gone. You know what? That's quite far. Look, it's gone from there. Let's yeah. zoom you out. It took off there and it went all the way. All right, we're walking now. <laughs> and it landed like here somewhere. I want to try it again, but standing here. Oh, hold on. We've got some wires hanging out. I'm not the best. Oh, no, we've got a bit of floppage going on. Should have really zip tied it, really. Oh, well. Not in it. All right, you ready for flat out? <laughs> now, what about that one? Flat it's out. Like there. It's going to go tree climb. <laughs> Let's see if we can get X Max into the tree. Oh! <laughs> and gone. <laughs> Oh, here he is! I want to have a quick look and see how the M2C toughness is holding up. Looking good so far. It's dark in the rain, but I've set myself a challenge. So, that mound there, I want to hit that mound and then clear that little hoopy thing. So hit there and clear that. So here's the mound and all the way over there, I want to make it go over that. No idea if it's going to work. If it doesn't, it's going to be bad. It's going to be X-Max completely destroyed probably. If it crashes into there, that's going to be bad. Oh, <laughs> I did not think I was going to make it. That went, I went for the, the mountain bit, the post. I'm not doing it again. It went over that thing. <laughs> oh, we can hit it this way as well. Oh, concrete, that is half concrete, half glass. That crack was already there. I bet you look at it, it took it like a champ. Yeah, GoPro tough. Do you think Traps is making? Probably. Carlo, <laughs> <laughs> that M2C. Yeah. I want to hit that one faster and see if I can land it actually in the tree. You've got to take a run up from that corner. Come across here and then hit that. Let's give it a go. All the way from there and in there. <laughs> Hopefully the GoPro is still going to be there. Yes. <laughs> here it comes. Oh, cut out! Uh -oh. Oh! <laughs> he cut out me there! Right, mine has GoPro's still there, that's good. Oh, that would do it. Thank you, <laughs> How warm do you reckon that is? No, it's quite. Still works, though. Yeah. Do you want to go? Have a little bit. Uh-oh. It's getting in there. Go on, then. Give it your best. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, nearly. Like a little crackety doodah going on. It's a tiny little hairline, oh. but... Oh. Well, it might never break there, but... Well, yes, from so you right. accused not, it. We're not in it, are we? <laughs> OK. Does it back in? You've got a bit dirty now, don't you? Oh, Stephen! <laughs> I don't want to go back in. When in doubt, give it a clap. Yeah. <laughs> Team, <laughs> recovery team coming in hot. Oh, it made it! 
Oh, there we go. M2C tough. It takes dogs, chickens, Stevens, Talbots. <laughs> it has it all. So future video, we're going to give it more durability testing long term. It's difficult to tell how strong stuff is first video. So give it a little bit of time. We will see so far. Looking very good. Oh, <laughs> what's happening in there? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> oh dear. I was playing a little bit off of camera and uh oh. Oh dear. Game over.